I'm Don Weinstein, and welcome to another edition of BDCI's Sporting Weekly. This week, we bring you profiles of four prominent Brazilian NBA basketball players, Thiago Splitter, Nene, Leandro Barbosa, and Anderson Varejão. One thing that's interesting about this group is that all of the players, except for one, are the exact same age, 29 years old. Thiago Splitter is the only one who's not 29. He's 27, and even though he's younger, he's played a heck of a lot of professional ball. You see, Thiago started playing professionally at age 15 for a Spanish team in the Euroleagues. Talk about growing up fast. And Thiago did grow to a height of 6'11", in fact, which, along with his ability to score and rebound, got the attention of the San Antonio Spurs a couple of years ago. They drafted him in the first round of the 2010 draft, and he's been a valuable bench player ever since. This season, he's virtually splitting the center position for the Spurs, and his averages so far are better than his rookie season at seven points and five rebounds a game. Let's move on to our 29-year-old group of Brazilian ballers. First, there's Maybiner Rodney Hilario, who plays power forward for the Denver Nuggets. Who? Uh, well, that was my producer, Natanya, asking who the heck I just mentioned. Well, Natanya, Maybiner Rodney Hilario is none other than Nene. In fact, legally speaking, there is no longer any more Maybiner Rodney Hilario because Nene changed his name legally in 2003 after joining the Nuggets. Nene has played with Denver his entire career, and besides running the floor well for a 6'11 guy, he's also a very inspirational player as well. He had his best season ever in 2008-2009 after surviving testicular cancer, finishing up with almost 15 points and 8 rebounds a game that year. This season started off well for Nene with a new contract, some high-scoring games, but Nene suffered a heel injury in a New Year's Day game with the Lakers and has been playing hurt ever since. Oh, and you may be wondering why the former Mr. Hilario changed his name to Nene. Well, Nene means baby in Portuguese, and it also was his nickname since he was the youngest in his family and among his friends in São Carlos, Brazil. Next, we take a look at one of the best sixth men in the NBA, Leandro Barbosa. Leandro is also known as Leandrinho and is from a small town in Brazil called São Paulo. Maybe you've heard of it. Barbosa played four seasons in the Brazilian professional leagues, even with Oscar Schmidt, before moving north to the States. In 2003, he, like fellow countryman Splitter, was drafted in the first round by the San Antonio Spurs. But unlike Thiago, Barbosa was quickly traded to the Phoenix Suns, where he played for seven seasons, usually coming off the bench, scoring in double figures, and bringing that Brazilian energy to a winning team. In 2010, Leandrinho was traded to the Toronto Raptors for Hidu Turkoglu, which must have been a downer for Barbosa. He did have a very good first year for Toronto, but was playing on a team that, you know, for all intents and purposes, sucked. This season, his team, the Raptors, well, they still suck, but Leandro still puts up the good fight. In his last game against the Sacramento Kings, Barbosa lit it up for 24 points in only 28 minutes. And, but then again, his team lost. So can this great sixth man keep finding the motivation? Only time will tell. The fourth player in our special profile today is the Cleveland Cavaliers starting center, 6'11", Anderson Varejão. Verajan came into the league with Cleveland after being drafted by the Orlando Magic in the second round of the 2004 draft. He was a Cavalier before LeBron James' time. He's remained a steadily improving center for them ever since. He's known for his great rebounding and defensive abilities, although the dude can score too. This season, he's averaging almost 11 rebounds per game, which makes him fourth best in the NBA, and he's third best in offensive rebounds with 4.7 a game. But there is a problem with Mr. Varejão at the moment. You see, he's playing with trade rumors all around that he will be dealt by Cleveland before this season's trading deadline. Even though his coach denies that the rumors are true, it makes sense for a rebuilding team like the Cavs to trade players like Varejão, who have a lot of value and are in their prime. And that concludes our special look at the Brazilian players in the NBA. We will be charting their progress as the season goes on, and hopefully you will find BDCI your one-stop source of information about your favorite players from your homeland. On a quick NFL playoff note, 
please read our own Natanya Levine's divisional playoff game picks at www.bdci.tv. That's it for this edition of BDCI Sporting Weekly. I'm Don Weinstein, wishing you a world of sports.